Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. With regards to correcting someone in prayer while they're making a mistake in recitation, if the Imam has done the three ayat, which of course is enough for the completion of the rakat or one long ayat, then there's generally no need for correction. However, if he is struggling and trying to find the right word, so with one or two words, a little bit of here and there, one can correct it. Rather than reciting whole ayat, it's just to hint to him so that he can get some help. If he doesn't want to do it and he doesn't take it and knows the ruling and then goes into ruku, then it's fine. He doesn't need to follow what you said or follow the instruction and he could just continue with the prayer but obviously as a natural response we try to correct if there was a mistake made in the rakat in the recitation of the quran specifically if it's a big mistake with regards to the meaning of the words obviously many people do not know the meaning of quran so they do not naturally correct it for that reason, especially in the East Asian subcontinent. The Arabic is not their normal language. If there was a big mistake where it has to be corrected, otherwise the prayer would be invalid. So the three things that would invalidate the recitation and the prayer thereby is that they said something which is wrong in aqidah or understanding like completely wrong saying or wording and they said it without a break between this and the previous ayah and they did not correct it so if all three conditions are fulfilled and this prayer is invalid obviously then you have to correct them you must try to hint to them otherwise they would have to repeat the prayer everyone would have to then repeat the prayer so in, in your scenario, the Imam missed one ayat, the last ayat of Surah Waqduha, for example. Then he went into Ruku. This mistake is not a big mistake, and uh, one is allowed to only recite three ayat anyway. If he did that, that's fine. Yes, but why he left that one ayat? More likely a slip. Not that he wanted to. So he just did it and then that's fine and obviously he knows the surah but in that spur of moment he didn't realize that he missed surah, uh, an ayah there but that doesn't need to be corrected but inshallah ta'ala, now that you've done it and it happened there's no problem in future we should be a bit more careful about correcting we only correct when there's a need for it or the, Im- the imam is hoping to get some uh, correction because they keep going on the same ayat which means that they're struggling and trying to find the right word so that is how we should try and correct if they could inshallah ta'ala